Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cheesecake here and Supercell decided to emergency nerf the Little Prince for a second time today. They reduced the pushback range and made the fire um the firing rate, whatever you call it, a lot higher. Um right now we're top 200 on ladder and we're gonna give the new uh and unimproved little prince a go on ladder to see if it's still insanely broken, balanced, or they completely killed the card. Uh, I'm not too sure. Um I haven't really played any games yet, but based off of what the nerfs are, that pushback range on the ability is not going to be super impactful. I feel like that's not going to change the card too much, but that firing rate is going to be really detrimental for the card, um, specifically in scenarios when you're low on elixir and you just got the little prince down and you needed to do that high DPS really fast. It's just not going to be outputting as much as it used to be especially versus air troops is i think it's a big one like especially versus balloon like balloon is going to be a lot better because of especially with freeze um because of all the resets and everything and like zapping or logging the little prince is going to be like way um more value than it used to be here and we're against jock cr here he seems to be playing some sort of bridge from back uh he played that bandit very well in that one skeleton so we could just dash i didn't really have anything in hand to catch that so I had to take a lot of damage here, but that's all right. Um, but yeah, Little Prince, I think he's still, like, based on my first impressions, I think he's still going to be viable, but I don't think he's going to be as, like, overpowered and meta-bearing as he is right now. Like, right there, that Little Prince, um, I feel like I would have gotten a lot less damage um, pre-nerf. Uh, I'm going to go with the Ice Spirit and Cannon here, and then deliver last second. Uh, and yeah, like, would you look at that? Like, that Little Prince, 30 minutes ago, that Little Prince would have completely killed that cannon. And it's surviving with, like, a good 20% health left now. Um, I'm, like, the more I'm seeing it, this um, fire rate nerf is pretty big. Like, compared to what it used to be, like, after two shots, it would be shooting, like, super, super fast. And now, oh, wow, he has Mega Knight. I, I'm not even going to lie. I'm not, like, paying attention. I'm trying to do commentary. I did not expect him to have the Mega Knight. But it's all good. We do have the Little Prince and the ability here. I'm going to go with an Ice Spirit to stun everything and give that Little Prince time to charge up. But yeah, look at how slow it charges up now. Um, it still has that like really good output of damage once it finally charges up. But it takes a lot longer. Like That was almost like 3 seconds or 4 seconds before it was fully charged. And I think you know that's good. As like a 3 Elixir card, it was getting way too much value. Just as the Little Prince. like It was shooting super fast. I'm going to go with Split um, Hogs. And skeletons here because he did use his bar barrel so that's gonna force me to use a lot of elixir and yeah the skellies are connecting on both sides it looks like a dad on the right but on the left side oh my goodness the evo skellies just went to town those evo archers could not keep up and that is his entire left tower down um now we can just pretty much play defense for the rest of um this half uh, especially because he has evo archers out of cycle now he needs to play three more to get back to them so I don't think he's going to have him for the rest of the game. So I think we should be chilling here. I'm going to go with a high cannon so it doesn't get hit by the poison. Uh, a delivery, ice spirit, log. Just keep resetting this ram runner. And we're already back to our cannon. So that ram runner is not connected on the tower. And with 20 seconds left, he just doesn't have enough time to build up a big enough push to take my tower. So yeah, um, i definitely say the Little Prince nerf impacted him more in this matchup than me. Because the Little Prince just doesn't do as well versus Royal Hogs as it used to do. But my Little Prince, like, against the Mega Knight, it still had enough time to charge up uh, because of my Royal Delivery tanking for it. So, um, it still got, like, the same amount of value. Um, that is going to put us at number 140 in the world. Let's just hop into the next game. Alright, we're in the next game here, guys, against AC1 Forever. Uh, I'm probably going to cut... Uh, the search time because that took like about two minutes to find a match um because we are pretty high up on ladder and it's kind of early in the morning but this guy runs a weird like giant bowler miner fireball deck um i think he has goblin gang night witch as well so this matchup's like not the best because he has bowler and fireball and i think it's gonna be a lot worse because of that little prince nerf i just don't have the dps that i need especially with him having zap and fireball that's two resets for my little prince and when they can just completely kill it. But that damage right there is going to be really nice. Um, I'm just going to go for a cannon so I can uh, defend this bowler. 
Uh, okay, looks like he's just gonna go in in the bridge here. I'm just gonna road delivery that bowler, and it's gonna catch the night wish too. That's really nice. I'm gonna go for a log, and I'll go for a little prince down low, just to clean everything up. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to go road delivery because that ice spirit died before it got a hit off. That is really unfortunate. Um, if that ice spirit got to jump there, it would have frozen everything for a couple seconds, and that little prince could have. Uh, taking care of everything, but no. Uh, he's gonna go for Goblin Gang. That ability should reach those goblins. Nice. And he's gonna be forced to use a miner here as well. I'm gonna go ahead and log the Spear Goblins. Uh, oops. It only hit one of them, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to go with Skeletons on this. But, uh, against that giant, it still seemed to take care of it pretty easily. So, I'm starting to think, like, it's, m it's like, not a huge nerf when it's going against like tanks because it still has enough time to charge up and do all that damage but when it needs that like fast burst damage like right when you place it it's just not having that burst damage anymore so it's going to be a lot weaker versus squishier units that you need to, to kill fast um or like when you're down on elixir and you need to get a troop down like it's just not going to be the troop that you need i'm gonna go for roll hogs here because his bowler is out of cycle Okay, so he has Inferno Tower. I completely forgot he had that card. And he's back to Bowler. But I think that Little Prince is going to connect on the tower. Yeah, he played that Bowler way too low. Um, I went for a Prediction Log there on the Goblin Gang, but he didn't actually play it. Um, interestingly enough, because now his tower is down to 835 HP. And if we get a clean defense here, I think that'll pretty much wrap up the game. I'm going to go for a Delivery and then a low Little Prince here. Uh, on, and unfortunately, that Bat got a shot on it. So that's going to take it down to Fireball Range. Uh, I'm going to have to go for the second delivery and a log here, and that should be everything cleaned up. There's one bat that's surviving, but that's not going to do too much. Um, I might just go for the route of Earthquake Cycle for the remainder of the damage, because um, I can't let him get a big counter push here with the Bowler um, and the Night Witch while wasting five licks on roll hogs i'm gonna have to go for two deliveries here to kill everything uh, i'm gonna prop my ability as well just so it can help and he's gonna fireball my little prince i'm gonna log everything deliver everything the giant is pretty much dead and oh my god that bat is on my tower okay let's go for little prince and evo skellies one of them survived that is actually huge and my evo or and my um little prince survived too i'm gonna go for roll hogs at the bridge here actually because um, my tower is at 470 HP. I need some damage right now. Our Earthquake and Log, and that should take it down to Earthquake Log Range. Yeah, that's Earthquake Log Range. I just need to get back Earthquake Log. I don't think he has enough for for Fireball, so he should be fine here. So Ice Spirit, just the bad stuff connect, and nice. Uh, I'm gonna burn this guy because he's given me in the past. So yeah, um, Little Prince, after the second game, I'm still thinking it's a strong card. Um, we're sitting at number 120 in the world here. Um, <coughs> yeah, Little Prince is still strong. Definitely not super broken anymore, but also not a bad card either. I think it's still pretty strong, I'm not going to lie. Um, but for the 21 challenge, I think I think after this nerf, the meta is going to change. You're not going to see in as many decks. Um, so you, I'll try and um, come up with an updated good deck for the 21 challenge. Uh, for tomorrow's video, uh, I'll play it on an alt account maybe, and uh, I'll try and get that video out for you guys. Because I don't think the decks that have been performing super well in the 21 challenge are going to be doing as well after this Prince nerf. Uh, we're against Hecham Heart Snipe here. And he's going to be running Giant Sparky, I believe. So another tank deck. Um, so another deck in which I don't think this nerf is going to matter too much in this matchup. Um, I'm just not going to activate my ability here. Yeah, okay, so I thought he was going to minion horde, and if I activated my ability, it would have just been a waste of three elixir, and he minion horde it anyway, so I basically just saved myself three elixir. He's going to go for Skarmie at the bridge here. Uh, I'm just going to log it, get some tower damage as well, and uh, I don't really want to go with Royal Hogs here, especially in single elixir, because he does have that Sparky, so if I could roll Hogs, it's just feeding him five elixir into that Sparky, and then, yeah, I mean, he just played it in the back right now anyway, so... I would have just fed him 5 elixir and he would be up for a massive counter push here. Um, that spirit is going to connect on the tower, that's really nice, that's like 150 damage. 
wouldn't be surprised if he goes for like a mini pick a giant other lane yep that's exactly what he did actually so i'm just gonna go for an ability right lane and that should be enough to clean up his sparky and then just skeleton delivery on his mini pick a giant i might need an ice spear yeah i'm gonna use ice spear and actually log it too just so the archers don't get any damage as well yeah that's a really nice defense um uh, I'm not sure. I don't think that Mini Pick a Giant was the correct play. I think he should have just put everything in the same lane just so um, he could clean up. And I think he would have gotten a little bit of damage as well. But I'm going to go for Roll Hogs here. He doesn't have his Sparky back in cycle. Uh, he's going to go for the Minion Horde, but that is going to let my Hogs get a lot of damage. That was almost 800 damage with those Roll Hogs there. And I can just clean it up with a delivery. Uh, he's going to reset with a Sparky in the back. Um, this defense should also be pretty easy. I'm just going to go ahead and Earthquake it to stall because I don't want to play my Little Prince now because if I did, um, by the time Sparky got to it, like it would already be halfway um, to the bridge, which I don't want. Oh, I forgot that the Evil Archers could snipe from that far. Um, luckily, we have that three-card cycle, so I already have the delivery back in the left lane for that mini horde. And I didn't even have to use my ability here. <clears throat> Yeah, just another Sparky in the back. We're just going to have to keep Earthquake cycling until we can catch a Sparky out of cycle. I'm just going to go for a log in the Sparky as well. And then set up a cannon. We need to get back to our Little Prince as soon as possible. Uh, he might go for another Split Lane Pusher. Yep, that's what exactly he's going to do again. Because that Sparky was too low HP for him to go same lane. And I'm going to need my Little Prince ability here to push everything back. And that Mini P.E.K.K.A. should die as well. Little Prince is actually targeted on the Mini P.E.K.K.A. funny enough. And his Sparky's out of cycle, so... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go Real Hogs. And they get a lot of damage again with that Minion Horde. It just doesn't clean it up fast enough. And then an easy defense with the delivery. And I think I'm just gonna go for one Earthquake here. Or actually, I might not. I'm gonna start the defense here and just probably... Um, spell cycle the rest of the damage, but I just make, need to make sure this one push doesn't get me. And if I can defend this push, it's just really simple with the spell defense or the spell cycle on his tower. It's ice spirit for that sparky, and yeah, that should be GG's. I think that's some um, three earthquake logs, and his tower is dead. So I just have to cycle. And with him playing that sparky all the way in the back, there's plenty of time for me to just cycle, 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 get three earthquakes, and win the game. And there's nothing you can do about it. I just need one more. Skeletons, Little Prince, Log, and then another Earthquake. Should do it. Um, so I think that's going to be the end of the video, guys. That should put me around top 100 in the world. Uh, yeah, the emergency nerf from the Little Prince, it was definitely needed. That card was absolutely broken. It had like an 82% use rate, which is absolutely crazy. I don't think there's ever been like a card with that high of a usage rate in the history of Clash Royale. Um, definitely a well-needed nerf, and I think it was a good nerf. I think maybe what they could do to perfectly balance the card is just make it die to Fireball, because it is a 3 elixir support card. I think every like 3 elixir support card dies to Fireball already in this game, so I'm not sure why they made one that survives it. Um, but yeah, I really like the nerf. I really still like the card. I think it's going to be in the meta, but in a more balanced position, so you're not going to see it as much. And, you know, I really like this change from the Supercell team, especially with World Finals coming up very shortly. Um, if this card was this broken in World Finals, that would upset a lot of people as well. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I should have a banger deck for tomorrow for the CRL 21 challenge if you still have not won it yet. Um, so make sure to stay tuned for that. And I did post one yesterday as well if you want to check that out. But it did have the little prints in it, so it might not be as good. But anyways, once again, thank you guys for watching. We're number 102 in the world. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.